the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, Germany. ESA astronaut Paolo Nespoli is here to train for his upcoming mission to the International Space Station. It'll be his third flight to the ISS since 2007, and he's as keen as ever to return to orbit. I'm looking forward to do new things on board in space. You know, there's still things that I haven't done. I'm looking forward to the capability and possibility of looking at Earth and this time try to take the things or find the things that I could not do last time. He's been training with the station's international partners to prepare for the mission. Time spent in Russia, the United States and Japan has given him new skills which he'll put to use during his long duration mission. As flight engineer, he'll be required to spend a large proportion of his time on the day-to-day -day running of the station. You're trained to actually do regular maintenance and uh, uh, unexpected maintenance if something breaks. Then, for example, a, a supply ship arrives and this is like a truck attaching to the station full of stuff that needs to be uh, taken off the supply vehicle, needs to be stored in a specific place, and then trash or all the experiments, all the equipment needs to put back into these things. This is a, a lot of time. It takes about, let's say, I would say 50% of our time. Paolo's in-orbit schedule will also be packed full of science experiments, which will take advantage of the unique microgravity conditions on board the ISS. Because we are relatively close to the mission, we have been trained on uh, most of the experiments, and uh, we also did, for some of the life science experiment, what is called the BDC, the Baseline Data Collection, which means we do the experiment here on Earth. We figure out how we respond with gravity, with the environmental condition here, and then we repeat the experiment in space. And usually we do it several times. The scientists want to see how this microgravity environment influenced that specific item that they are going to investigate. Paolo last flew to the station in 2010. Over the course of six months, he provided scientists with a huge amount of valuable data, while still finding time to enjoy the unique experience of living 400 kilometers above the Earth. From 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the morning is supposed to be the sleeping time, eight hours. I, when I was in space last time, I slept around six hours because I wanted to really make sure that every single night I go to the cupola to have a window over the world and I could look down. It's an incredible view. Whilst Paolo is an ESA astronaut, the upcoming mission is part of a barter agreement between NASA and the Italian Space Agency. It will continue Europe's presence in orbit and make maximum use of this veteran astronaut's spaceflight experience.